Let's bring some more positive news to Yankee land. Hey guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. If you love the Yankees, but you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe, especially if you want to be kept up to date with the latest New York Yankees news or just for plain old New York Yankees discussion. We're on the road to 18,000 subscribers. So if you could help us get there, that would be a blessing. So there are two players that I want to highlight. One player, I spoke about him a couple days ago, but I really wanted to talk about him again and defend him just a little, just a little bit. But the one guy who I am going to start off with is starting pitcher Luis Heal. Now, Heal, after not pitching for a year and a half, he's coming in here and he's having a wonderful, wonderful season. Going 12-5 and for the Yankees with a 3-0-6 ERA in 22 starts. In 117 and two-thirds innings pitched, has 138 strikeouts. Heal, we all know that monster month of May that he had. He was awesome. People just based off of that month alone, we're saying, hey, maybe, just maybe he could start the All-Star game. Well, the month of June wasn't very kind to him, but he did rebound in the month of July. However, his last four starts have also been very, very good. He has a 2-11 ERA, 3-0, and 21 in the third innings pitched with 27 strikeouts. The rotation as of late has struggled a bit. Stroman has struggled. Cortez has struggled. Rodon has looked a little better. He's looked a little better, but he's not a one or two. He's more of a four or a five, quite frankly. And then Garrett Cole, as of late, he's looked a bit better. He has, but we need Cole to be the Garrett Cole of last year, not this year. However, Heal is one of the, the few bright spots right now at this point in time in the starting rotation. I would even go as far as to say he's one of the few bright spots in this whole entire pitching staff because that bullpen, quite frankly, doesn't impress me either. And at the deadline, they kind of did have their hands tied. They did. But all in all, this team, the pitching staff, does not, has me a little worried. I won't say that they don't impress me. It just has me a a little worried. But it is a great, great sign that Luis Heal is pitching so dang good, especially this late into the season. We also have Clark Schmidt on the way back very soon, hopefully this month. And Schmidt was having a career year before he went down. However, Heal and Schmidt struggled to go deep into games. And this bullpen needs a pitcher or two to start going a little deeper into games. And I hope as the year progresses now, we have this month and next month, then the playoffs. So the playoffs feel like they're right around the corner. I just hope that this starting rotation is good enough to beat a Guardians team, an Astros team, the Orioles in the postseason. I hope so. But Heal has been really, really good this year. The other player who I wanted to talk about and a guy that I feel I have to defend a tiny bit it's Austin Wells. Now, Austin Wells this year, 249 batting average, eight home runs, 29 RBI with a 764 OPS. His OPS was really low at one point. It was like 650. <laughs> this OPS jumped once when this kid started to receive consistent at bats. His last, his last month of play was tremendous. A 344 batting average, four home runs, a 443 on base percentage, and a 1037 OPS. But this is where I feel I have to defend him. And with those kind of numbers, why do I, why should I feel the need to defend Austin Wells? But I do, because there are a lot of people I'm hearing saying, oh, he's not, Aaron Judge needs more protection. He needs more protection. We need a four hitter. Austin Wells in the cleanup spot this season is 19 for 53, resulting in a three 59 batting average and a 976 OPS. He's a guy who's working walks, but he's also getting hits in that cleanup spot. I think he's perfect for it, honestly. I really do. And then you have Big G behind him. I th- I, I, I think the lineup two through five is solid. The rest, in my opinion, that's eh, a little suspect. Verdugo starting to hit a little better too, by the way. So that's great. But also too with Austin Wells, 
He's in the ranked in the 93 percentile in framing this season, according to Baseball Savant. His pop time really isn't that bad. It's around league average. His arm, it could be better. It's better than Trevino's. And Trevino, he might be back sooner rather than later. He might start a rehab assignment soon. And if that happens, fine. Fine. He was very good offensively in the beginning of the season. Then he teetered off. Then he got hurt. Then Austin Wells absolutely seized this opportunity to be the everyday catcher for the New York Yankees. Just seized this opportunity and has been more, more than productive offensively. And defensively, he's been fine. He holds his own. He's he's been fine. So when Trevino comes back, I hope they don't try to play this cutesy game of platooning Trevino and Wells. Please don't do that. Keep Jose as your backup. He's the perfect Jose Molina type of backup. Just keep Jose as your backup. Please, please, I'm begging you. Do not take at bats away from Austin Wells. Do not do it. Because I don't want to hinder his, his, his progress whatsoever. He's been so damn good as of late. Please do not hinder his progress, his progression, by giving Jose Trevino more at-bats because you think he should have more at-bats. It's just That's not the case anymore. Austin Wells is your everyday catcher, and Trevino is your backup. Narvaez, he's been okay. He's fine. He's a good defender. But the easier move would be to send Narvaez down when Trevino comes back. Just don't get cute with it. Keep Trevino as your backup. But listen, great things all around. Not all around, but great things when it comes to these two players, Heal and Austin Wells. You love to see it. Austin Wells has been great offensively, and Heal has been very, very good, especially this late into the season. He he rebounded after his struggles in the month of June. He completely rebounded, and he's been very good as of late. So I'm happy for Heal. I just hope that maybe, just maybe, he could just go a little deeper into games. And him missing a year and a half of action at the major league level is kind of concerning with his innings and the amount of innings that they might want him to throw. Because outside of him, as far as production goes, outside of him, this rotation has been struggling mightily as of late. Mightily. So listen, thank you guys so much for watching. We have channel memberships in the description if that interests you. This is Joe, and until next time, signing out.